hello wonderful family welcome back to our wonderful channel thank you all for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us why you should wash your head and your face with sugar water yes most of you know how sweet sugar is you only use it to make your tea to take your pack to take your custard to take your poca oats but you don't know that there is a spiritual benefit of fusing sugar to wash your head and to wash your face. Most of you, you have friends that each time you go out, people around you will always notice that your friend, even when you are more beautiful. People always wow, I like this your friend. Please, can I have her number? Can I have his number? And when you look at the person, you are even richer than the person. You are even more beautiful or handsome than the person. But people keep coming close to him or her because he or she carries this grace carries a pure and clean aura your own aura is very dirty what is that thing you need to do so that anytime you go out you'll be outstanding when others are queuing up the person in charge of that line will call you and attend to you what is that thing you need to do you need sugar what did i say you need sugar you don't only eat it use it to do sweeten your spiritual life there are people when you see them, you will have a kind of fear in them. You will see fear as in you will not be able to approach them. Even when people say, when I, when I see her, I'm going to slap her, I'm going to do this. But when you come out, even when you're not tall, when you're not giant, and look like a giant, the person cannot repeat that word in your presence. There are people like that. Somebody bashed my car and when I came out, the way the, the man was demonstrating, when I came out, I told him, Oga, why did you bash my car? He couldn't even talk again. This is somebody that was raking while on inside the car. So these are the kind of things. When I look at him, you, you could not talk again. So these are the kind of grace you should carry. When people see you, they'll be scared of talking to you. They cannot look at your face and talk to you. When you wash your head and your face with sugar, Believe me, the only people permitted to come close to you are people with good and pure hearts. That is it. Even when people contact you on phone, if they have any negative attitude or character, it, the God will just expose them and you will take them off your way. There are people with dirty and stinking negative powers. Once you come in contact with them, throughout that day you'll be moody. But when you start betting with sugar and uh, start washing your head and your face with sugar, those people will not even come close to you. When, before, before they will come, God will tell you to avoid such people. I keep encountering them on my WhatsApp on, on daily basis. And once I read their sentence, I'll just block them off. They have not done anything to me just because their energies will affect my own positive energies. I don't need negativity in my life. So when you see such people, take them off your way. You don't need to exchange words with them. You don't even need to talk. Just block them. God will keep exposing them. In your place of work, immediately you start, you resume work in that office, God will start pointing out those people with negative energies, negative powers, evil intentions. God will expose them. And you will see how God will take them out of that office before you even resume. Or immediately you resume, they will have problems and they will leave that office for you. So how do you perform these assignments and when is the right time to perform it? The right time to perform this assignment is in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. You can do it three times in a day. You can do it once in a day, depending on when you have your time. So how do you do it? In the morning, get a small bowl or a, 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 anything or a bucket, anything you can use to wash your head. Or your face and your face rather you can equally choose a bottle container of water put four cubes of sugar inside the bottle water or bucket of water or bowl of water if you're on low cut like me it is very easy to perform but if you're not on low cut maybe you made your hair as a woman please I will tell you how to wash your own hair but as a man, it's very easy for men to do it because they are always on low cut. I'm not talking about this man that is plating their hair, no. I'm talking about the way men usually carry their short hair. 
it's very perfect for them and it's very easy for them to perform. And my fellow women that is always on low cut. I know I love low cut a lot. So what you need to do when you mix the sugar, you shake it very well, turn it very well for it to mix completely and dissolve very well. Take some, if your hair is long or you fixed your hair or you braided your hair, take that water and sprinkle it on your hair. Don't pour it in a way that it will spoil your hair or spoil your weave on or your wig or whatever. Sprinkle it. As you sprinkle it, tell God to wash away the sense of your forefathers that is following you. Wash out that spirit of hatred. Wash out that spirit of fear. Some of you, the only problem you have in this world is fear. You are always scared of uncertainty. You are always scared of tomorrow. When any little thing happens, you start panicking because maybe your background, you don't have people to fight for you, you don't have money, you keep panicking when you are sick. Sometimes your sickness is just a minor sickness, but you start thinking. Before you know it, the sickness will escalate to the extent that you should start requesting money, big money, because you are thinking of how to buy little drugs to treat your headache, and the headache will escalate to another thing. So do not be afraid when you are doing this. That spirit of fear will disappear. A spirit of hatred will disappear. Spirit of poverty will disappear because your next name will be favor. Every man, every woman that comes in contact with you must favor you. So you sprinkle that water on your hair. Then use the other one, concentrate on your face. So whoever looks at my face will see the grace of God, will see favor on my face, will see me as in a child, a child of God, will see me as a newborn and help me, whichever way the person can help me. Keep washing your face. Don't wash and put inside that bowl. Wash it outside. Let the bowl be here. Then you wash it and maybe in your sink or in your uh, bathtub. Uh, tub. Don't pour it. The, the one you use in washing your face again inside that bucket. No, be washing it out. And so wash it. Pray. Tell God to renew your face. People that see you as an ugly person, as an animal, sometimes your faces changes. There are some people when you look at them with spiritual eyes, they look like a mermaid. Some of them look like an animal, and that is why when people come in contact with you, they'll be scared because they ha you have this fearful look spiritually. So pray that God should change your face to a normal face, that when people look at you, they want to favor you. They will see the beauty in you, not the physical, uh, they will see both physical and spiritual beauty in you, and they will be eager to help or do whatever that will favor you. Then for those of us with low cuts, wash your head very well with the water, then equally wash your face. If the water is remaining, maybe you have washed and washed and prayed and the water is still remaining, do not uh, be scared. Just pour it on your body. Do not clean your head. Do not clean your face. Allow the water to dry on its own. Believe me, do this for only seven days. You must testify. So try this simple assignment and make sure you share your testimony under the comment section or on my WhatsApp number. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.